Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful chandelier style necklace. Now, this design was inspired by Sharon, who's in my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. She sent me a photo of a beautiful chandelier earring, and I spun off that idea because I actually had a request in the comments of my community page on YouTube that uh, someone would wanted me to make a necklace. So I'm combining two ideas and I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful necklace. So what you're going to need for this project are your pliers, cutters, some round pliers. You're going to need some nylon wire for the necklace and you'll need some head pins, a variety of beads, a clasp, some jump rings, some crimps, and also a thicker wire for the outside of the pendant which is probably about 18 gauge and then also a thinner 20 gauge or 22 gauge wire to wrap. What we'll do to get started is we'll take our thicker wire and we'll just start by doing a little loop at the top. This will be where you hang it off the necklace and then to make it a little more decorative we want to add a couple of other little loops so we're just going to do another little loop this is with our larger round pliers okay and then another one flip it over and do another one on this side so it's almost like sort of a Celtic kind of clover type uh, configuration and from there we can bend them out a little bit because we want it to be thicker underneath. We're just going to bend that out a little bit. And this one too, we'll just bend it out like this. Okay, so that's the top of your little chandelier. And then take a round form. I'm just using a Sharpie. And we're just going to pull one end around like that. Okay, and then the other side. So it's, you just want to wiggle it around so they're about the same on each side, sort of symmetrical. Okay, and then we want to do a full loop around like that, and on this side, a full loop around. Okay, and then at that point, you can start making the loop a little bit smaller with the end of the Sharpie, and then you get your round pliers and just bring the loop in a little bit more. Okay, and just like I've done in the past making spirals, we want to bring it, sort of gradually bring it more and more in like that. Okay, work our way in, and then we can just wiggle it around and clip the end. And the same on the other side. This just takes a little bit of practice to get the, um, the spiral down. So you're just kind of working your way in a little bit. There we go. And do your best to get it somewhat symmetrical. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can just keep wiggling it around till it looks like it's more or less the same on both sides. You can hold the edge a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to clip that edge like that. And then once you have the basic shape, you'll just pinch it in like that. So now we want to just attach these two together just so they don't come apart. So for that, you'll just get a thinner wire. It can be 20 gauge or 22 gauge. And you might need your pliers to help it through a little bit. Try to keep these two wires beside each other and we're just going to pull it through to make maybe just like a little spring-like looking thing. If we wrap it like three times, it should be fine. This is a 20 gauge wire. Probably 22 would be a little easier to work with. Okay, so we have the one side and then the other side. Okay, so just go like that and then we clip it on the back. And then you can kind of press it down if you need it to, because you really want these two to be, the wires to be kind of beside each other like that. 
And so now what you're going to do is put the dangling bits on. So for that, what you want to do is take a head pin and you're going to stack your beads on there. So we're going to put one faceted bead and then I have a metal uh, spacer bead. There we go. And then we're going to put just a round cat's eye bead. These are six millimeter beads. It seems to be a good size. And then if you do want to put another little fancy metal bead at the top, you can. This is more of a flat spacer bead. I didn't put one on my prototype, but I'm going to try it with that one now. And actually this uh, is the part that's a little bit tricky. So you want to cut this, I would say, about 3 eighths to half an inch. No less than that, because otherwise you're not going to be able to make a decent sized loop. So then we're just going to bend it back and around like that. So there we have our first little pin and we're going to make three of those. So once you've made your three pins, we're going to attach them. So we're going to get a jump ring and just slip one of them. This will be the middle one and we're going to close our jump ring like that and then we want to it to be centered so we actually need another jump ring to go on the other side okay so we're going to loop it through the pendant again and then just loop it on the other side and then that way it'll be attached to both sides and it can still dangle okay so you see it dangling down from both sides and then we're going to put one more on either side so you can see I've alternated the beads. I put um, in the middle one, the shiny bead is above and on the side ones, the shiny bead is at the bottom just to give it a little bit of variety and symmetry at the same time. So there's that one and then we'll get another jump ring and put this one on the other side. You can open these jump rings with two pairs of pliers if your jump ring is stiff. These ones aren't too bad, so I'm just kind of using my fingernail. So there's that, and then we'll put this one on that side. So this is actually really a beautiful design, and it could you could just make them as earrings as well, but I'm doing a necklace for today. So here's our pendant with the three pieces hanging down. And then for the necklace, of course, you're going to need a jump ring at the top. So we'll just open up the jump ring. If you need to open it with pliers, you just open it like that. And then we're going to pop it on the top loop and close it up. And now we'll make our necklace. So to put the necklace together, I have one of these little template trays that you can put your beads on. I'll link up below where you can purchase one of these. I think I just got them at the dollar store. So you're going to center your pendant how you like it, like that, and you're going to arrange the beads how you want. And then you'll take your, it's called tiger tail, it's like a necklace wire. And basically you're going to string all your beads through the necklace wire. And then after you've strung all your beads, we're going to crimp it. So now we have all of our beads on here and I put these tiny little crimps on there. So you want to make sure it's centered. We're just going to put the ends together and then come down here like this and make sure everything is centered. And then you can use a crimping tool. I actually don't have a crimping tool, so I just I just pinch them flat, but you can definitely find tutorials online on how to crimp, how to pinch the crimps. So I just go like that. And then for the uh, hook, I just take the end and I put a crimp on the end like that. Okay. And again, you can use the crimping tool if you have it. And then we're just going to put the end in there to about a quarter inch. Bend it back and then put it back through the crimp like that and then just give it a pinch. And like I said, if your neck is sensitive and you need it to be crimped in like with the crimping tool, you can do that as well. But I find this is just as effective.
and then we do the other side so you put the crimp on there and this is just a split ring I find it works really well for the the with the lobster clasp and the split ring and so we're going to put that back through the crimp you could even put two crimps if you want it to be more secure so you pinch it shut and there you have your fancy chandelier necklace all ready to wear So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry videos. Uh, hit that notification button to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And be sure to join my Facebook group called the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club where we share photos of our work and inspire each other with lots of cool ideas for wire art and jewelry.